YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Knowledge here from Gamers Little Playground, and I'm joined here today. For a long time, we haven't done anything a like this. A long but time. I'm Javi, of course, if you guys have been to the channel for a while. Yeah, so uh, Javi got a unique opportunity. Bethesda in 47 hooked us up. Hooked us up. Thank you so much. <laughs> so they flew out Javi to West Virginia to, to play. Washington. Then they flew me out to, to West, West Virginia. Virginia. He got to stay at great places, the Marriott and the, the Greenbrier, Greenbrier Resort. And he got to play Fallout 76 early, which is mm -hmm. the coolest part of the whole thing. He got to see a old vault, like uh, an actual, a, fallout vault, a yeah. real Fallout vault. Um, it was just a great experience. We really appreciate what Bethesda did. and mm -hmm. For flying us out there for, you know... Well, flying you out there. For flying you, yeah, sorry. We, one, it was only one person and you couldn't go. So. I couldn't go. The next so. best person went. Damn it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we decided to do a Q&A. &A. Uh, we put a community type question out mm -hmm. there and you guys responded. So we picked some of the ones that we can answer and we're going to answer them now. So the first question, the most important question yes. of all the questions that was mm -hmm. asked. Spartan 47, or Spartan X 47. 47. Can you dab? You know... I don't think I don't I don't remember the dab being specifically in there, but there are emotes. There is an emote wheel that I remember. Uh, you know, we were I was barfing, I was scared. You know, there's a bunch of different ones. Yeah, it was. I, so I, there's definitely they, they might add that. You know, they might add that. Although it might be so culturally irrelevant now that mm -hmm. it, they might not yeah. even bother adding it. <laughs> yeah, that. but obviously, I mean that's an obvious question. Every every game now, like Destiny has it. Yeah, you know? but um, there is emotes. Can you get more? Can you do? So? I'm not sure there, but there was a, a wheel that you can scroll <laughs> through, and it had a bunch of. They're gonna, ones. they're gonna have a bunch. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, our second question comes from Aaron the Slayer. How much of the environment can give you resources? If there are environments or resources, are they just limited to building player structures? Right. So the way the resources worked is, you know, you pick up junk. Uh, in this game, I think almost everything kind of gave you weight, uh -huh. but junk didn't give you much weight at all so it's good to you know run around collect flowers collect stuff um when you're going through uh it's not necessarily environment oh the only environmental stuff that gives you like materials i can remember was the flowers mm -hmm. otherwise it's like you know you're picking up clipboards kind of stuff from from chess from yeah. stuff like that and most of that stuff you can like easily go to your menu uh once you go to a workshop whether it be an armor workshop or whatever and then quickly just junk all uh -huh. And then also your weapons. If you have more of the same one, you can junk that to get more. Of the oh, it's like an easy like one. Or you gotta well look for the it. weapons and stuff. You gotta armor, look through you it. You have to look through it because yeah, I don't think yeah, they yeah. want you to just like accidentally your best weapon get yeah. you know, taken away. Well, I mean, I figure like if there's duplicates, it can just be like boom. Oh, uh, I, I I didn't see that, but I do know that it was just very easy. You just click on it, you know. Okay. Um, there was the the material, the resource you use for is like a lot of uh to build other stuff in the camp. You kind of take over certain areas and then you control the camp. Okay. Right, and but everyone on the map can see the camp. Yeah. Um, there's also um, as you're like dismantling certain things, like you, if you dismantle a gun, you for that specific gun type, you might get a mod that you okay. can build. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. there's a lot of that. Alrighty. All right. Third question from this channel. <laughs> it's called this channel. That's a good name. How often do you find other players? How well, <clears throat> and how well did bats work? Um, so we were, you know, kind of in our own thing because we were part of the event. So yeah. we kind of, uh, you yeah, can so see. You, so you didn't like, yeah, cause you, you didn't play against like other, like online. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously. But we like, played people at the event. Yeah. Um, you do see people on the map. Uh huh. What they did tell us though, is if you murder someone that is, for example, this is going to see like if you find other players on the map because you will find them and you can fight with them yeah which we'll all get into the combat in a little bit but um when you shoot at someone it doesn't immediately like you know start a pvp yeah but if you i'm sorry it what it does is if they shoot back at you it becomes a fight okay but if you shoot them and kill them it's considered murder and you kind of become like in you know in other games you can be, you can become hunted Okay, so and when you you're get hunting, like an indicator? Yes, like... and everyone on the map can see it. And at that point, if I'm not mistaken, from what I saw and from what they were telling us, is that person that's being wa that's wanted, basically, can no longer see people on the map, but everyone on the map can see them. Damn. So it kind of like... That's punishment right, right. there. But I wasn't 100% sure 
how it worked for teams because I don't think your teammates necessarily get wanted as well. Uh-huh. So you, if you wanted to be wanted and your teammates not wanted, oh, that's okay. That's a good question. Too. Yeah, yeah so I, that's then, something that I'm not 100 percent sure on. I know that it would be good to know. I just we didn't test that out. That how much. do you think it would be better? Like if your whole team got wanted or just you? I don't know because it's if you're playing with random people and someone just decides to kill someone or if it's an accident, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I think it'll be fine. The way the combat system works is a little bit. Uh, it doesn't just like you can't just like in GTA, you know, or something where it has online. You can't just one shot someone right away. Yeah. You can't just throw a grenade, which is something they mentioned to us. Yeah. So basically, you do less damage if you're attacking someone that isn't attacking you. Okay. So you can't just like ambush, and I mean, you could probably still kill them, but it's kind of like the damage isn't fully done yeah. until they start shooting back, and then the the damage balances out. That's okay. That's weird too, because then you can make that big choice of okay, I don't want to engage. Because, yeah, which is you know, which like, is kind of good, you know, because I mean, this is Fallout, so a lot of people coming into it, you know, let's say this is they only really play Fallout or or similar games to Fallout, uh-huh. they might not like multiplayer, and it, and that would really turn them off. Yeah. But if yeah. if they get shot at and they decide, you know what, I'm gonna stay away from this and maybe just run away or whatever, at least they they won't get like, uh, you can get spawn, you won't be spawn camp, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah fucking running away from fights what is <laughs> yeah. this halo reach god <laughs> all right four uh, question well we, i didn't well okay. sorry sorry to cut you off but the vats okay yeah, that's i right. think a lot of people want to know they work really weird because obviously it's online you can't stop time yeah you know lock picking doesn't stop time yeah hacking yeah. doesn't stop time uh menus and stuff don't stop time yeah so neither does your vats the way vats work is basically auto aiming Okay. So you you activate it and it it doesn't like automatically like uh you I mean you click the the your 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 trigger and it kind of auto aims to the target you're on. Mm-hmm. Um and as far as I know level later on I think it changes but the way it worked at least for us being low level we didn't get past I think I got I got to level seven during the, the session. Um, you don't really target limbs or anything like in other Fallout games. Uh-huh. So it's, that's the difference. It's more like when you're targeting the enemies that only have one shot. Uh-huh. It's like that. It's and just... obviously, the closer you are, the better your aim and whatnot. So it's way different. It's not... It, uh, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think it had to because they couldn't make it. Oh, yeah, no, it, ha- it had to be different. But mm-hmm. did you like that, though? Uh, Are you still... I honestly didn't even really use it just because I... You just so used to using the regular. Well, version. it was on controller, and it's been a while since I like I played Fallout New Vegas on 360 yeah. for a little bit when it was on Xbox. Yeah. Or on the 360, yeah, yeah. But I and I didn't remember any of the buttons. I've been and I for the channel recently, I've been playing a lot of the PC. Oh, Fallout. So yeah. I didn't even like. It was just kind of weird me playing the controller. Uh, yeah, I get you. I get you. Ah, PC Master Race. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Yeah. All right. Uh. Fourth question from Manny Garcia. Will it be third or first person? There is an option for both, similar to Fallout games. You can't pull back like in Fallout games where you can like choose kind of where you are. Yeah. But you can, at least on the console version, switch between them. Maybe there's more options in the PC version, but we didn't play that version. Easy question. Okay. Uh, our fifth question from Speckle Trek. Are caps important outside of using your Kent machine for settling, for settlement building? Right. So you use your caps, you know, you would use it to buy stuff, yeah. whatever it is. But the other thing I can think of that you do use it for is to fast travel. Okay. So you can fast travel to your group and the vault for free. So if your group is all together, uh, you don't really need it. But let's say one of your group members, for whatever reason, is like, I'm going to go to this side of the map and you guys are doing this over here. You guys, if you wanted to, let's say something happens and he says like, oh, come over here. You can fast travel for to him for free. You can fast travel to the vault 76 always for free. Everywhere else you find on the map that you would be able to fast travel to, you have to pay a certain amount of caps depending on how far. Is the vault like located in the central area uh, or was it in the corner of the... You know, I can't it's hard to really, tell. I can't tell right now. We'll have the gameplay playing yeah. in the background. Maybe it'll show it yeah. right now. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, I do remember it being somewhat centered, just not directly in the middle, if I'm mistaken. Okay, okay. What about, like, how much it costs, like, the caps to, to fast travel? That's the thing. Uh, it. I remember it being, being, not being a lot, but I didn't... I, I luckily was using mostly the... I actually didn't have many caps because we were building, yeah. uh, like, workshops inside the, uh, the settlements we took over. We didn't do a lot of the building, uh, but you can, you know, 
set up turrets, you know, on the in the thing to protect your little area because someone could come and take it over if they wanted to. Yeah. They have to do an event to take it over where they have to fight waves and have enemies. So if you're online, you can kind of like, or if you're nearby, you can kind of fight yeah. them back. Yeah. But um, I I'm not 100 percent sure. It didn't seem it didn't seem very expensive, but it was also we didn't travel very far. Okay. So we so I don't know how expensive it can get. All right, our next question from Jolie LeBlanc. LeBlanc. <laughs> uh, is it balanced enough so someone can play single player, or is it necessary to have more people? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the single player we did, I, or I did, because um, the way single player works is just because you do a mission with your group doesn't mean everyone gets it. Yeah. Right? But... Uh, we were in a group already, so it's not like I can just go off on my, I didn't I did kind of go off on my own and do the quest because it does count to you by yourself when you do it Yeah, right? so you kind of have to do it on your own uh, But they did say that you should be able to beat the game Just fine by yourself. Okay. I'm sure it's something similar to how destiny is you know where uh, Having a group probably helps a lot but not having one won't keep you from yeah it won't that. keep you from actually um, finishing the game i tr i asked a little bit about higher levels uh they didn't mention much but i, I was i was curious if there was going to be anything like higher level that you would i mean we saw a lot we saw some high level enemies too uh -huh. but um i don't know if there's any like events that you would need more people to do like that you have to have more people to do okay speaking of enemies the next question from call of default 25 he says what enemies did you encounter while okay. playing so everyone kind of went on their own thing we had guides and stuff but we met a lot of ghoul like creatures which were called the scorch in this game uh we saw i saw some super mutants uh -huh. i remember hearing like because we were all in the same room one of the groups across we found mothman and yeah. like they were fighting mothman yeah you know so that was it was cool like i was i wanted to go there but we were kind of in our own area we we kind of found the haunted campground that we were exploring for okay. a bit, which was cool uh, one of the things I did get to do, and you'll you'll be able to see it, is I went to Deathclaw Island, which is that's what just what it's called. Yeah. It's a little tiny island on one of the rivers. You just kind of walk to it and Deathclaw. <laughs> <laughs> I was able, luckily they weren't super high level. I'm assuming they can get higher level, but they I was able to get one to like quarter health. Yeah, yeah, yeah Or yeah. half maybe le uh, like half health, and. And then I had to run and go like catch a, the nuke. Like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to catch the nuke. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Uh, but there are uh, other enemies that I didn't get to encounter myself. Yeah, like you said, for sure yeah, there'll be like high the more sloth. High. I remember there's like a big sloth thing or something. And then uh, there's a bunch of like really creepy ones that I'm assuming were in higher level areas that we didn't get to. Yeah, no, for sure there's going to be a bunch more. Mm -hmm. and you already saw at least four, four yeah. or five different ones. Uh Okay, our next question from Crown Chaos. Well, it's not a question; it's a comment actually. Right. But I just I have a feeling that Fallout seventy six will play a lot like Elder Scrolls Online. Right, I did play Elder Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls Online plays like a traditional MMORPG, uh -huh. like uh, like how WoW or something would play. Okay, this feels more like something like maybe Red Dead Online, you know, or even GTA Online, just not in the city without, uh -huh. without the NPCs, you know. So it's it's it feels more like that you're exploring. There isn't um, that like MMORPG feel to it to me. Okay. You know that's so really vague. What you just uh, say? Okay. Like, well, it doesn't like, feel like Elder Scrolls is like you know you, you have your skills and stuff. It's this game is shooting, so you don't have your skills like that. Uh -huh. You have perks. Yeah. The way the perks work is you get these cards. You can level up the cards and you can attach them depending on your special. You know which one you've leveled up. The more special, the more you have in that special, the the more cards you can put, and the higher level cards you can put. Yeah. And also something cool about that too was if you're in a group, you can share one of the cards if you have high enough level. Okay. So like if you want to build this certain way to, for more experience, for example, which is under the charisma tree, you can build towards more experience. One of the strength trees, you know, to uh one of the str strength perks, uh to hold more weight, you can share. Okay. You know, stuff like that. That's cool. I yeah. mean, that's some cool teamwork stuff. Okay, our last question from Mel Mel B. Mm -hmm. Only is there only one? No, well, only one. Is okay. there story slash lore NPCs quest? Okay. 
that's the that's the final question. I mean, that's the question that I think a lot of people want to know because they they want to know what how do you what do you do in the game? Yeah. Um, it is that's a lot. three questions. Well, by yeah. The way. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, right? Mel B, Mel B, that's three questions. Yeah. Okay. Go I guess, ahead. but it's you know it all encompasses the same thing. All right. Is there story slash lore NPCs and quests? I didn't come across any NPCs. Uh, a lot of the quests come in the form of hollow tapes. Okay. Uh, a lot of the hollow tapes were really cool. Uh, there was one like a, there's like there's a, there's a cult involved. So there is lore. Um, I don't know how far it, it will extend. Yeah. For example, something really interesting that my group kind of like stumbled across was what seemed like shrines. Uh -huh. uh, and this isn't part of the main campaign, but uh, this was just us exploring. Was shrines to a robed, a dark robed figure with a moose skull. Okay. Right? We found one just like in the near the campground. We found another near a graveyard, and then we went to this church, and there was like, it was on the where the priest would be, right? And okay. there was skeletons of people in front row seats and stuff. So there's something, you know, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember. But that's more of a like exploration, exploration yeah. type lore. But, yeah, yeah, and but maybe we'll encounter more about them because yeah. we I didn't get to see a lot about them, but uh, there was something. There was a, a hollow tape, for example, of a kid who was basically blaming himself or blaming. Yeah was putting the blame on himself like that oh i cheated on a test that's why all the bombs dropped yeah, yeah. but because that's what he was told like you know kind of like that's what the cult has kind of like yeah, done yeah, yeah. for him to him and everything um the, the story wise you know you come out of the vault um it it seems like i guess everyone just died because like i said there's no npc so you're just like what where is everyone yeah and you kind of go to this area you look for the overseer of the vault and all you you're all you're finding is hollow tapes and dead you know? Yeah, yeah. And, I mean uh, that. Th I mean, as a lore aspect of it, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I mean, it's a good explanation yeah. of why there wouldn't be any NPCs. But. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I, I don't know. Uh, we unfortunately we didn't get far enough because we yeah. didn't have all the time. Yeah, right? but don't expect a traditional like. Yeah, don't, definitely don't, don't expect a, uh, expect a traditional single player. Don't expect um, cutscenes and you mm -hmm. know like yeah NPCs. Yeah, yeah that's, um, that's for it was sure. cool coming out of the vault. You know there was a celebration. Everyone's I guess got outside, and I guess the NPCs would be your people, the people yeah. you grew up with, yeah, the people yeah. you find in the wild, and the, which aren't really. I mean that's not that those are playable characters. You know yeah. they're not NPCs, but. Um, the quest system right now, um, it's kind of like, I guess, you're, I mean, your typical kind of Fallout stuff, uh, at least from the very, like, we only did like one or two, you know, and it was, you know, go here, find out what happened, uh, use the find hollow tapes, uh, kill this kind of stuff, yeah. you know, which, I mean, that's about... Pretty standard, you yeah. Know? Other than um, like an NPC telling you, like... Yeah, hey, exactly, yeah. and the, the NPC does tell you through the thing. There okay. is hacking, there is all that stuff that, is, there's a lot of the stuff that is still from Fallout, yeah. but like I said, do not be, I mentioned it earlier, do not be trying to lockpick or hack and there's enemies nearby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Make sure yeah. you actually have to clear out an area. You can't, yeah. you know, get a uh, get a, a rest zone by going into the hacking and be like, okay, I'm good for... <laughs> Why do they shoot me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, we thank you, everybody, for submitting questions. Uh, thank you again to Bethesda. Mm -hmm. And for or in forty seven for sending Javi right. out, I know he really appreciates it. And, and any other questions, if you want to leave them in the community tab, we might I might or, go through there and try to ask. But also, we'll have a video out uh, with with a, more of the gameplay, so you can see what it looks like. Because that stuff I can't really explain to you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, last thing, overall impressions. What do you think? Overall, I mean, I definitely think it's a game I I, I can see myself playing, uh -huh. just for the fact that. I do like that kind of like open world exploring thing. Yeah. I, I do wish there was a single player campaign that is more in the traditional sense of Fallout. Because, I mean, who, I who mean, doesn't who want doesn't, one? Who yeah. doesn't want one, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, the whole single player experience is dying, you know. I mean, granted, there's a lot of games coming out soon. Uh, but this is definitely, I think they just wanted to try something else, which is uh, a fun game that you can kind of just play with your friends, you know, go around, just exploring West Virginia we explored the hotel we were staying in a little bit yeah you know we got to see uh, just places that it, that you you know that we like we basically like drove uh, or not drove up because we were in the game but we walked the drive that we that we did pretty much yeah, to, yeah. to get to that, that that hotel that we stayed in. that's sick yeah that's so sick that yeah. is so sick all right guys thanks again and we'll see you guys next time
Peace.